So I've come across a number of gas fittings recently where the connecting surface is spherical and up until now this is something I haven't been able to make on my lathe. And most recently I wanted to make a fitting for this SpeedyVac vacuum gauge. So what I'm going to do in this video is to build the radius turner from the plans that I found on Steve Bader's website. The first thing to do is to start machining the rotating body shown here. So I've cut a blank off from some bar stock and I'm going to get it aligned in the four drawer chuck. I'll use the DTI to do this and then I can start the work of machining it. Here I'm just running the DTI across the part to make sure I have got it level. And now I can start making the base which bolts onto the lathe with the first job being to measure how long to make it. With the part cut to size, I now need to try and centre it in the four jaw chuck. So I've used the mill to put a hole in the centre of the part with a spotting drill, and then I've roughly aligned it in the four jaw chuck. And next I'm using a piece of silver steel that's tapered to a point at one end and centre drilled at the other. It's then held between the part in the spotting hole and a live centre. It's then a pretty straightforward matter to centre it using the DTI. And with that done, the alignment should be bang on. So the only major remaining part to make next is the tool holder. And that starts life from the same piece of steel that the base is made. I've used the bandsaw to put in a few starter cuts and then I'm squaring the part up in the mill. With that done, its thickness can be reduced to size and then it's just a case of tidying it up. It is quite important that I managed to get the tool tip to be laid centre height. So I've assembled what I've got to date and then used the live centre in the tailstock to mark where the centre is. So now everything's done, it's time to assemble. One thing that I have done that's different to Steve's original design is rather than tightening the bolt against a washer, I've tightened the bolt against a bearing. And ideally I'd have also liked to have had the two parts rotating against a bearing, but because it's a relatively small lathe, I just couldn't find a way of doing it without losing too much working height from the tool. And at some point I also need to take the corners off the tool holder so that I can get the tool tip closer into the part, but for now this is going to do. So now I just need to make the handle, and that's best served with a ball handle. Luckily, I've got a ball turner to do that.
So thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like it, or a thumbs down if you hate it for that matter, and please do subscribe.